House Republicans are planning to hold a third speaker vote today after spending all day yesterday going in and out of increasingly contentious meetings and watching their backup plan to Jordan just fall apart. Now, Jordan and his allies had hoped to have a vote to give the temporary speaker, Patrick McHenry, more power yesterday. That let the House get back to functioning and would give Jordan a little more time to find votes. But furious conservatives, including many of Jordan's own allies, shot that plan down, with McHenry even threatening to resign at one point, citing constitutional concerns. So John, uh, Jordan's opposition right now is dug in. Some of the 22 Republicans who've been voting against him say they're receiving death threats for refusing to support him, and they will not bow to bullying. But for the hard-right Ohio Republican, the options are now basically drop out or keep voting. And he says he plans to keep on trying on this 17th day now without a speaker. I mean, and just what, walk us through what the wider impact of this prolonged stalemate is. Yeah, the longer it goes, the worse it gets. Uh, passing an aid package for Israel and Ukraine, probably the most urgent need that Congress has, well, they can't do anything to address it until they elect a speaker. And Congress also has less than a month to pass a government funding package if they want to avoid a Thanksgiving shutdown. They've done no work on that whatsoever. But there are other priorities, too, getting less attention, things like passing more money for disaster relief, shoring up some pandemic-era child care programs that have lost funding. Savannah, the House can't do any of that without a speaker, and they don't look any closer to electing one today. All right, Garrett, I know you'll be watching. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.